Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another tutorial video. Today's video is going to be based on game rule send command feedback as well as game rule command block output. A little bit about each, kind of how to use them, as well as a couple of the differences between the two. So let me just make sure that I've got both of them turned off here and double check right now for all intents and purposes we're going to be using a teleport command to test the difference between the two. So right now if I press the teleport button with all of these game rules false, I will currently see nothing come up in the chat. So bam, I just teleported across here, nothing comes up in the chat. So if I wanted to type in commands in the chat and receive feedback from them, or if I wanted to turn off feedback that I was receiving in the chat, I would go ahead and type in in the chat window forward slash game rule send command feedback and then if I want to turn it on I would put true and if I want to turn it off I would put false so we're gonna put true so send command feedback true, hit enter in the chat window. You can see right there it pops up on the screen. Send command feedback has been updated to true. So now with command feedback set to true, if I press the teleporter button, you'll see it pops up in the chat window and says you've been teleported to such and such coordinates. So what that means is any commands that players or myself type in the chat window or any commands that related to myself only will pop up when you have the send command feedback rule set to true. So I'm going to turn that back off false and you'll see, you know, again, no messages will come up. So a different option that you might want to use if you're trying to see kind of what's going on with commands running in the world is command block output game rule. The command block output game rule works differently and it's this is going to show you commands that are run specifically by blocks not by players in the chat. So command block output game rule if you turn that on true can clog up the chat window quite a bit on a large world or a server but still might be something that you want to check out. Another option for you if you just wanted to see one command you know the feedback on just that one rather would be to turn on previous output on this so you see when I teleport now this thing says teleported such and such player to such and such commands so you don't have to use this command block output necessarily if you're just trying to find an error in one command but nonetheless if you want to use the game rule command block output output you would type in forward slash game rule command block output all one word and if you wanted to turn it on you would do true and if you want to turn it off you would do false so we're turn it on true and when you press it it's going to say not you have been teleported it's going to say the player name has been teleported as you can see my player name has been teleported so what that means is with command block output you're gonna see any commands going on in the world not just ones related to your player you're going to see all commands going on in the world so we're gonna turn we're gonna leave command block output turned on and we're gonna turn feedback on and now you'll see that you get two messages there one because I've been teleported one because the player name has been teleported so we'll turn all these back off that way my chat window's not all clogged up, and now nothing happens. So one more time, just in case you guys missed it, send command feedback. This is the command that you're going to want to type in the chat. If you want to type this in, turn it on, you're going to type in true. If you want to turn it off, you're going to type in false. And then one more time for the command block output, you're going to type this into the chat, true to turn it on, and the same deal here, false to turn command block output off. Alright, well thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and give me a like and subscribe over here, Arctic Shark Games on YouTube as well as on Twitch if this video helped you out. 
Um, this all for today's video. I don't want to dive too deep into commands. The next video we're going to be doing here is coming at you shortly. Thank you very much, guys.